Welcome back, everybody. Remember, this is Dr. Bacon with Chris Goodson. And we are doing another supplement. Sizzle. Yes, here we go. So, guys, we're talking about the gut flora, gut microbiome right now. And we're talking about just kind of the whole idea of what's going on in our guts. Mm -hmm. We know, too, brain number one, brain number two is in that gut. Yeah. So we got to make sure it's healthy. Well, we can get things to take over in there like yeast and fungus. And I'm telling you, we've already talked about it in here. Under stress, we literally see a shift in the gut microbiome. Yeah. We see Clostridium difficile kind of go up and everything else kind of go down. And then we see the yeast come in. And the yeast is gonna be kind of like the weeds in the yard. Remember we talked about this in the past, that weeds in the yard are really being kept clean by the gut microbiome and good bacteria. Well, if we have less of good bacteria, then we're gonna have more yeast. You actually fired the gardener, and now you're gonna get more of those weeds and that yeast in there. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. So we're gonna start with a product that we use all the time in here. In fact, like it's hard to keep on my shelf. We use yeah. it all the time. It's lactic acid yeast. Yes. And let's explain this to him because it's a little bit, uh-oh. Uh, it's right. Just so you name. see, right, you see the word yeast and you think, no, I can't have yeast. It's bad. I know yeast is bad. Well, as a matter of fact, you can. Yeah, it's, really it's a beneficial yeast. Right. There is such a thing, folks, as a beneficial yeast. Now, the way it works is beautiful, is it actually takes carbs and sugar in our diet, which we all eat way too much of this to begin with, right? And that feeds what? Those weeds. That feeds that bad stuff in right. the microbiome, okay? It takes all those carbs and sugars and it converts them to lactic acid, which acidifies your gut, which then makes it a bad environment for that weed to grow in. It's yes. basically weed killer, okay? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And it's, there's a lot of great research on how lactic acid yeast was absolutely phenomenal in dealing with candida overgrowth right. with patients, okay? And so this is a great yeast. This is a yeast you wanna use right. because it really sets up the right environment in the gut for your microbiome and your healthy beneficial bacteria. Yeah, I love this stuff. This is this is one of my favorites actually of all time. And we love see, yeah, we see acid. great change with that. Yeah. Gut, you know, inflammation, we see bloating, all that kind of stuff really helps yeah. to kind of support it. Now, after we get the yeast going and we get that out, we need to help it exit the body. And yeah. So we add in a little Spanish black radish, which we love, by yeah, the way. Yeah, Spanish black radish. So Standard Process grows this organically on their farm, okay? And I'll tell you what, they uh, probably have done more research on Spanish black radish than anybody in the world. Uh, but it's, it's a wonderful root vegetable. And there's things like sulforaphane in, in your uh, Spanish black radish, kind of like your cruciferous vegetables, your broccoli, your kale, and that. But anyways, it's a great detoxifier in the lower bowel. It's a great, it engages phase two liver enzymes, right. right, to really help detoxify the body. So when you come back through with this, it's a wonderful way to get in there. Once you start killing those weeds, freshen out the garden, out. get yep. it out, you know, throw it in the wheelbarrow and send it out. Yeah. This is a great product this for it. Spanish and I love it, but I tell you what, that's a, it's very impressive too. We visited the farm a couple of times. It is impressive to see the size of these, oh my what they're making with the Spanish Turkey. black radish and stuff. It's just Salt awesome. Salt size radish, yeah, man, yeah. it's unreal, man. So anyway, guys, two slam dunk products. If you have any of those kind of symptoms, you feel like a little bit bloated, that kind of stuff, those things are going on in the body, or you know, your tongue is really white. There's so many signs that show us that we need some help. These are a couple of products that we'd use to kind of support. So hopefully you guys take this and get a little bit more information with it. Chris, thanks again for your time. We appreciate it. And hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you on the next Supplement Sizzle. Thanks.